Hi students, welcome to the next topic from magnetic effect of current and um, so far we have learned about many 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 concepts so still few more things will be there so let's go to the next topic you can write out the heading which is called magnetic moment magnetic moment magnetic moment magnetic moment is representing using a letter called capital M <coughs> magnetic moment similar to electric dipole moment we have learned about electric dipole moment right so what is electric dipole moment so first we will understand what is called electric dipole moment in electric charge electric field chapter we have learned about electric dipole moment i know you remember electric dipole moment is a vector quantity which is equal to the distance between the two charges into any one of the charge <coughs> Here distance this is a vector quantity so minus q and plus q two charges are separated by a shorter distance and that distance is equal to 2l and this 2l is multiplied with one charge then it is called electric dipole moment and the direction of electric dipole moment is from minus q to plus q this is what we have learned in electrostatics or electric charge and electric field chapter here we have another stuff which is called magnetic moment similar to this one so instead of minus q and plus q in magnetic effect of current or in moving charges and magnetism what is magnetic moment is in the sense we have a magnet whose north and south poles will be there then each of this north and the south pole you know a magnet will have two poles right north pole and south pole so each of these poles will have a sub something called this is called a pole this is called a pole this is also a called pole so each pole will have so my first first point each pole have a strength each pole have a strength each charge will have a strength right one coulomb 2 coulomb higher higher charge 3 coulomb higher charge so that 3 number that number is indicating its strength similarly here also each pole will have a strength so that is called pole strength <coughs> that is called pole strength pole strength is also called or pole strength is also called magnetic strength magnetic strength okay so we have a magnet north and south poles are located each one of this is called a pole and the strength associated with that pole is called a pole strength or magnetic strength so this is clear next we'll come to what is called a magnetic moment magnetic moment vector m is equal to here any one of the charge <coughs> And this pole strength or magnetic strength are represented by small letter M. So here any one of the charge into distance between them. Here also I am considering the distance between the two pole equal to 2L. Then here the pole strength here is M. The pole strength here is equal to M. So charge into distance between the two charges is called electric dipole moment. So similar to charge here what we have M. So M into the distance between the two poles that is called 2L so in short we can return the similar format 2L into the magnetic moment the pole strength this is called the magnetic moment but here also this is the direction of L vector but what is the difference will be here <coughs> there are differences will be there for magnetic moment the first point the differences the differences with respect to the mag on second my pens got got leaked so the magnetic strength we are going to calculate and for this magnetic strength we have something called the m the magnetic moment <coughs> m is directed from is directed from from where to where it is directing is directed from south to north this is important magnetic moment is directed from south to north so magnetic moment is directed from south to north okay and the another point is like single pole single pole in magnetism single pole in magnetism 
doesn't exist doesn't exist no chance but a single charge can exist but a single charge can exist a single charge can exist which means one em alone not exist in the universe because i am saying a magnet will have north pole no it's not possible a magnet must have a north pole and a south pole one pole alone doesn't exist I'll come to here. One charge can exist, either it's plus Q or minus Q, but both can also exist. But in case of a magnetic pole strength, both must exist. Any one will not exist. And the magnetic moment is directed from south to north. So this is the direction of M. But the direction of electric dipole moment is from left to right, minus Q to plus Q. Important. Never miss these points. Okay. Hope this is clear to you. Okay. <coughs> Next. Next point. <coughs> magnetic moment. Magnetic moment of a current loop. Of a current loop. So here we speak about we have a magnet which will have north pole and south poles and which is giving a pole strength of m and that will give rise to a magnetic moment that will give rise to a magnetic moment m vector quantity that's what put in vector notations m equal to 2l into m so this is a permanent magnet how i can create an electromagnet in order to create an electromagnet we have to pass electricity over a conductor once we passed electricity over a conductor it is converted into a magnet for example we have a loop like this i have a loop and the loop is carrying certain amount of current if the loop is carrying certain amount of current the loop will act as a magnet the loop will act as a magnet that is our first law right earth such experiment when a current carrying coil is producing a magnetic field a current carrying coil is producing a magnetic field so this is a permanent magnet this is an electromagnet so this is an electromagnet so an electromagnet electromagnet so how an electromagnet will be formed when a current is passed through a coil it is converted into a magnet that is called an electromagnet so the magnetic moment of a current loop so we know i can create a mag i can create a temporary magnet this is a permanent magnet so this will also have pole strength and this will also have north and south poles and this is a, a magnet but it will act as temporary why it is called temporarily when you remove the current the magnetism is not exist whenever the current will be there magnetism is exist that's what it is called an electromagnet whenever electricity will be there magnetisms will be there so for this case the magnetic moment for this case so we'll write for this for this case so for for this case magnetic moment for this case magnetic moment m will be equal to current into area vector this is important for this case magnetic moment is equal to current into area vector <coughs> current into area vector means we have to multiply is with area the structure if it is a rectangle then current into that rectangle here it is a circle if the circles will have a radius called r so then i can write magnetic moment is equal to i into pi r square this is my answer i into pi r square for this case the magnetic moment is equal to m equal to i into pi r square i is the current flowing through this one and r square is the <coughs> Uh, r is the radius pi r square is the area the next question to you is how i can find out the direction of magnetic moment magnetic moment is a vector quantity how i can find out the direction of magnetic moment of course we know magnetic moment is equal to i into a vector a so magnetic moment is in the direction of vector a a a so this is a circle <coughs> so area vector is perpendicular to the circle always area vector is perpendicular to the plane if this is a wire what is the area vector along this direction 
along this direction but now this is a circle in the board so area vector is into the board or out of the board that decision we have to take okay so area vector is perpendicular to the circle perpendicular to the circle means two direction is possible either into the board or out of the board so which one will be the right answer to find out that we will use right hand curling rule right hand curling rule means you have to rotate all your four fingers in the direction of current <laughs> so my current direction is going like this so i am rotating like this if i am rotating like this my thumb is pointing inside my thumb is pointing inside outside is plus k plus is the direction inside is what minus k direction so here the direction of magnetic moment is k cap what k cap minus k cap because it is inside i am using right hand curling rule so we'll write the next point to find out to find out direction of to find out direction of m use right hand many many rules will be there right hand curling rule right hand curling rule i am saying like this one we can say right hand thumb rule right hand curling rule both are same right hand thumb thumb will be giving direction the 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 same method we are used to find out the direction of magnetic field because thumb is pointing the direction of current other curling fingers are forming the direction of magnetic field the same case will be here also but here for all the fingers are pointing in the direction of current and my thumb is giving the direction of magnetic field sorry magnetic moment <coughs> do not confuse listen to my two sentence my first sentence is you can use right hand thumb rule to find out the direction of magnetic field you have to think how thumb will be giving the direction of current other four fingers are giving the direction of magnetic field this is what we studied in the previous session now here we are saying thumb is not pointing the direction of current what is pointing my curling fingers are pointing in the direction of current so my thumb is in the direction of what thumb is into the board which will give rise to what which will give rise to the direction of magnetic moment very very important <coughs> very very important okay so perfect so we'll do some questions here to understand this concept in a better way so all these points must be there on your, on your notebook if you want to write additional point yes of course you feel free to write whatever you know but i am writing some points in the board so all minimum these points must be there on your notebook minimum this this is a minimum expectations is to be there on your notebook in addition to that whatever coming from my mouth you can write okay okay so let me do one question for the given you can write the question for the given current carrying loop for the given current carrying loop find the magnetic moment find the magnetic moment for the current carrying loop find the magnetic moment so x directions and y directions i have a loop like this 3 meter 2 meter this is carrying a current of 2 ampere in this direction question is simple we need to find this is a current carrying loop in the x y axis a circle a, a rectangular loop is given we need to find out the magnetic moment what is the equation for a magnetic moment first of all for a current carrying loop magnetic moment is equal to ia ia area is vector i can find the direction of magnetic moment but first first let me find the magnitude so i into what is i i into area means for a rectangle means what length into breadth length into breadth so current is 2 ampere length is 3 meter breadth is 2 meter so 3 into 2 6 6 into 2 12 what is the unit of this one i a current is ampere area is meter square so 12 ampere meter square i want to specify the direction also 
to find out directions which rule i will use i will use right hand curling rule so my current is going in this direction my current is going so where my thumb is my thumb is in my case it is into the board in your case it is into your paper okay so you have to uh, to know that you have to keep your book like this one then you have to rotate so now you have drawn on your book similar to me then you curl your fingers you can also see it is into your book so this is into the board into the board board means which direction minus k cap direction minus k cap this is the direction for this and this is the magnitude and this is the unit so 12 ampere meter square minus k cap <coughs> perfect okay the next question find the magnetic moment for the given current loop x axis y axis and z axis i have a loop like this i have a loop like this <coughs> this length is a this length is a and this breadth is b this breadth is b and this is carrying a current i in this direction like this so it's a loop preferably it's a loop okay here now the point is like how many loops will be here here two loops will be there you can see whenever the current will be coming some part of the current will go here some part of the current will go here similarly when the current will be here some part of the current will go here some part of the current will go here but this current will not be get cancelled definitely there is a current so this is like a two loops this is like loop one and this is like loop two in symbol wise so we need to find out magnetic moment so magnetic moment is per loop level so here we have two loops so here you have two magnetic moment so loop one magnetic moment is m1 loop two magnetic moment is m2 so first you will find out loop one magnetic moment m1 equal to i know it is called i into area so current is i into area length into breadth a into b a b a b it's a rectangle length is a breadth is b what is the direction i have to use my right hand curling rule so my current is like this my current is like this means my where where my thumb is coming thumb is coming towards you if thumb is coming towards you means this is in what directions what directions plus k outside outside of the board plus k directions so it is plus k cap specifically we'll go to the next loop m2 will be equal to i into a so again it is i a b length is a breadth is b what what is the direction of the magnetic moment here you have to imagine 3d <coughs> see y axis is going in this direction x axis is going in the direction z axis is towards you now where this is located this is located in an x z plane x z plane means this is y axis this is x axis and this is z axis so now this is located here not here this is this means y axis is involved now here means x z axis so the current is going in this direction so here it is located so i am placing the my current in the direction so i am curling my fingers like if i am curling my fingers like this thumb is going out out upper say which means what direction sir it's going up it's going up it's going up means what direction so look at that in a direction sir it's going in positive direction positive means what direction it's going in upside which means what axis plus j direction plus j directions so two magnetic moment so total magnetic moment m net will be equal to m1 plus m2 two vectors are in opposite directions sir so i can return as i a b is taken outside here it is called j cap plus k cap so if you are asking me the magnitude if question is asking about the magnitude total magnetic moment equal to root of root of magnitude of x square okay so if you have a format like x y cap y j cap plus z k cap if you have a format like this one then you will say x square plus y square plus z square but in this case what we will get so x means zero square 
y means y means j so which means what i square a square b square i is the current okay then next one is z square again i square a square b square so two times of i square a square b square so we'll write two times of i square a square b square what will get <coughs> 2 in the root root 2 i square a square b square in the root i a b so i a b this is the <coughs> magnitude this is a magnitude format this is the vector format hope this is clear to you right so root 2 i a b <coughs> fine so we'll go to the one more questions we'll do then we'll see the uh, strength of our knowledge okay fine before that i need to give some fundamentals along with the questions i will give you find the given for the given current carrying loop find the magnetic moment <coughs> we need to find out the magnetic moment for the current carrying loop so this is again x axis this is again y axis and this is again z axis okay so i have a loop here like this i have a loop here like this okay so this is located like this hope you can hope this is clear okay so this will make 60 degree with this z axis and this length is a and the breadth is b now it is not perfectly in the lines but this is make some angles to this one right this is making some angle and this is located in this planes and which is making of 60 degree with this one so in this case what what we can do will be here we know this side is b <coughs> this side is b so we know magnetic moment will be equal to ia so current is carrying by the loop like this one so this is very clear to me i into a <coughs> so to find out this one what should i want to do here a is like this but we know this is a rectangle a rectangle means magnetic moment so i know magnetic moment will be equal to i into area so i into to find out the area this is not perfectly this is not a structure similar to what we have seen before this is not like this this is some angle it is tilted so this case is different if this is a and this is b i can return as i a b is equal to my magnetic moment but we cannot write it like this one because here it is making an angle of 60 degree so what we will do means this b will be splitted into two components <coughs> b is on the x z plane one is this component and one is this component this component is written as b cos 60 b cos 60 and this component will be written as b sin 60 so b cos 60 b cos 60 in what directions k direction b sin 60 in what direction i directions i cap okay then the so b is splitted breadth is splitted breadth is a two dimensional component actually so whatever will will be coming between x and y axis or x and z axis or y and z axis will be splitted into two components as i told before in many classes this is like a full apple b is a full apple we cut into two pieces b cos and b sin <coughs> okay this is fundamental uh, principle in physics so whenever you see something between x and y axis or x and z or y and z you have to split into x and y component or x and z or x and y so here it is between x and z axis so we split it into x component and z components theta side the side nearer to theta theta is called 60 degree so that is called cos the other one is called sine so this is clear next one so breadth we have split it. what is the length length is given as a so this is in what direction plus j direction this is in the plus j direction now we will multiply so current into area length into breadth okay so current into area current into area means length into breadth or the direction of current so how uh, how we will uh, take it normally see listen here you should be little careful see 
this is a and this is b and this is c and this is d okay so normally normally if, if you have a rectangle like this a b like this if i'm taking the directions like this c d then i have to say area in that in that direction only i have to say the area which means a b cross next line b c this is one way you can write or you can write b c cross b c on the other side next side c d then next c d cross d a c d cross d a then you can write one more thing d a cross a b d a cross a b so you can write in all this format so that is the direction of the current format so here we have two sides one is this side and one is this side so this is going in this direction the current is going in the direction that is similar to this arrow mark so arrow mark direction you have to take it so i am taking bc cross cd bc cross cd so bc you you can take two options you can take ab cross bc or you can take bc cross cd or you can take cd cross da or you can take da cross ab but it is in this direction only you have to take you are not supposed to take in opposite way so here i am taking these two side which means i am writing here bc cross what is the other side bc cross cd so this side is c so bc cross cd bc cross cd now we will substitute or all the values will be here so current into what is bc bc means aj aj so a into j directions cross product with what is next c cd what is cd cd will have two components cross product with the b sin 60i b sin 60i plus b cos 60 times of k we do a cross product so i clearing this area you already noted all these points i know so i have to clear this one next step we have to do a cross product okay so normally how we'll do a cross product we will we will draw a circle like this one right circle like this one so this is i j k so what is i cross in the same direction i cross the same direction vandana in next line i get the answer i into j is equal to k in j into k j and k are in direction so j into k will be equal to the third one i next k into i k into i is equal to k into i same direction so the next one what is called j but if i'm saying like k cross j k cross j k cross j means you are making the directions reverse so k cross j means you will get the third one i but you are taking against the direction so to represent that you will put a minus minus i similarly minus i similarly if you are putting j cross i j cross i so j cross k is i a or a direction different directions are there so j cross i a j cross i opposite direction will be the third one in the minus third one in the minus and minus k so this is a basic principle based on the principles we will apply so i into a b sin 60 what is sin 60 root 3 by 2 so a b into root 3 by 2 j cross i j cross i opposite j cross i so what will come minus k plus a b cos 60 so a b cos 60 means 1 by 2 j cross k see j cross k same direction up a third one in the same direction of a positive third one third one is i i in the positive i in the positive means i itself okay so what are the things uh, i a b taken outside i a b by 2 taken outside common things are taken outside so what will get here it is called i so i minus root 3 k is the answer for this question i minus root 3 k is the answer for this question hope this is clear what is called magnetic moment different 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 combinations we have seen hope this is very very clear to you okay
okay so we have done couple of problems we have done some concept this is quite important this will come for neat as well as if you are writing je exam it will be there so i just cleared the board so it's very important the questions for basically for je and neat examinations so whatever we have studied so far okay so fine perfect okay so let's go ahead so the next topic is magnetic dipole moment of a revolving electron so write down the heading magnetic dipole moment magnetic dipole moment which means magnetic moment okay nothing but our capital m for a revolving electron for a revolving electron magnetic dipole moment of an revolving electrons so we have electrons which can revolve and we are finding the magnetic moment dipole moment for an revolving electrons electrons will revolve where actually electrons will revolve around an atom atom will consist of a nucleus and around the nucleus we have lots of orbits will be there so atoms are rotating around the orbit so let's let's have a look so we have an atom center we have a nucleus located we have positive charges and electrons are revolving around the nucleus say at a distance of r meter away from the nucleus so here we need to find out the magnetic moment of course i know magnetic moment will be equal to i into a okay so what is current current will be current will be equal to charge divided by time into area so charge divided by what is time time period of an revolving electron means what time period means okay we know velocity will be equal to distance by time velocity will be equal to what is the distance will be here 2 pi r by time 2 pi r is the perimeter so we'll substitute will be here it is 2 pi r divided by v into area area for this circle is what pi r square so what all things will be here q v we will go to numerator pi get cancelled pi get cancelled r and r get cancelled so it become 2 and r that is no r square so q v r divided by 2 is the magnetic moment of the revolving electron q v r it depends upon what all the factors it depends upon velocity it depends upon uh, radius it depends upon charge sometimes this can also be written as is equal to e v r by 2 you can also write like this one okay nothing but q is equal to e for an electrons e for an electron you can write like this both both are correct okay so here i have to say uh, magnetic moment i have to say one artificial parameter and that artificial parameter is called angular momentum so that is important we are going to do something with this one angular momentum this we will learn in rotational dynamics in very detailed way angular momentum l will be equal to vector l will be equal to m v r we know the general equation right angular momentum is m v r here we are interested to calculate angular momentum of an electron so this equation or angular momentum of an electron equation is applicable for a particle system okay so which means angular momentum will have two equation one is called mvr this is for a particle for a particle like electron proton like this or angular momentum is equal to i omega this also will call this is for a moment of inertia this is for a body means which consist of number of particles so angular momentum will have two equations so mvr this mvr will also called as r cross p p is mv so r cross mv that's what it is coming as mvr so remember this one at the moment in in uh, um, rotational dynamics we will learn very deeply about this concept angular momentum angular momentum is mvr right now you remember the formula don't worry we will learn about very 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 detailed in rotation dynamics so angular momentum for a particle is mvr angular momentum for a body is i omega is called moment of inertia omega is the angular velocity 
so let's have a concern now here we have a particle system so we cannot use this equation we will use this equations m v r now we are going to derive an important concept what is what is called magnetic moment by angular momentum so you can write here this is important for entrance examination magnetic moment divided by angular momentum don't worry about angular momentum this is not under this chapter that's what i'm not going in depth into this so this is from rotational motion magnetic moment by angular momentum what is magnetic moment e v r by 2 divided by m v r what all the things will be getting cancelled so m divided by l will be equal to a eh, v v got cancelled r r got cancelled so what is come e divided by 2m will come e divided by 2m okay some textbook they will written like this m y l be equal to minus e by 2m this is nothing wrong because they are giving electric charges a uh, electrical i mean electrons will have a negative charge so to remove this one what they will do they will put a magnitude so that is also correct so i am putting a magnitude like this if i am writing e v r or without this one you can also you can also write without magnitude you can write instead of e you can take a general charge q by 2m you can put it like this also so here q means any charge whether it's proton whether it's electron any charge positive or negative you can write like this one if you're writing specifically for electron you can put this notation so over here okay okay now i want to go uh, let me keep this equations there because I need this in some places. Okay. So, rest of the areas I am clearing. E by 2m. Okay. Anyway, definitely you will remember it is a very small equation. So, I do not want to keep it here. I will just go out of this one. So, next uh, we are we will learn some topics called the Bohr's model. Okay, now here also we have something called some Bohr's model will be there. What is that Bohr's model is talking about? So you can write what the heading called Bohr's model. Bohr's model. What is this Bohr's model is speaking about? Orbital angular momentum of an electron. Orbital angular momentum. So we'll write the orbital. The this Bohr sign is told. The orbital angular momentum. Orbital angular momentum. So, angular momentum will have two equations. Particle angular momentum, a body angular momentum. Body angular momentum is I omega. Particle angular momentum is MVR. So, here particle angular momentum or body angular momentum. Body angular momentum not. It is particle angular momentum why because it's an orbital orbital means orbits will contain electrons electrons are particles so particle will have particle angular momentum the orbital angular the orbital angular momentum of the orbital angular momentum is exist for what the orbital angular momentum of an electron of an electron is an integral is an integral integral than a number is an integral multiple is an integral multiple of h by 2 pi is another the formula h is h what is mean by h h is called planck's constant h is called planck's constant so orbital angular momentum orbital angular momentum letter l integral multiple number n n equal to 0 1 2 3 etc so and orbital angular momentum l will be equal to n h divided by 2 pi this is what is called bohr's model this is called what is called bohr's model okay so from this one i know the equations m the modulus of m divided by modulus of l will be equal to e divided by 2m or modulus of m will be okay okay modulus of m will be equal to e divided by 2m into modulus of l so e divided by 2m what is called l l will be equal to nh by 2 pi so it is called nh divided by 2 pi so my equation so for in a Bohr's model, 
So orbital angular momentum of an electron is an integral multiple. So angular momentum is given. So here this is called Bohr's Bohr's magnetic moment. Bohr's magnetic moment. Bohr's magnetic moment m equal to e n h divided by 4 pi m. Very very important. E n h divided by 4 pi m. E n h divided by 4 pi m. Okay. So n is the number of electrons will be occupied. So n is the number of electrons. Number of electrons. For an hydrogen atom, for an hydrogen atom, how many electrons will be there for an hydrogen atom? 1. For a hydrogen atom, n equal to 1. So, m equal to e h divided by 4 pi m. When n equal to, here not 0, integral multiple, so 1, 2, 3, etc. to infinity. 0 included. 0 included uh, if, uh, if you have taken 0 orbital angular momentum will be equal to 0 no it's not like that electrons are always revolving it's not in static positions so it is undergoing the revolving motions okay so whenever an angular momentum should exist velocity should be there so if it is 0 means angular momentum is equal to 0 that is not possible so it is 1 2 3 and this is called L this is specifically vector L okay so magnetic moment for an hydrogen atom e is equal to e h divided by 4 pi so here you can write this is the minimum value of minimum value of m this is a minimum value of m and this is called and this is and this and this is called what this is called this is called Bohr magnetron. This is called Bohr magnetron. Important, 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 important. This is called Bohr magnetron. This is a minimum value of the magnetic moment of an electron. This is the minimum value of. This is a minimum value of m, and this is called uh, Bohr's magnetron. So Bohr magnetron, the magnetic moment equation E n h by 4 pi, when n is equal to 1 e h by 4 pi and that is called a Bohr magnetron okay so fine this is for an revolving electron and an electron is revolving in an atom next fine perfect Next, this is for an atom we have seen. Now, if it is like a charged ring, a charged disc, for such kind of things, how we can do? For an electron means we have just considered one, one, one electron over this area. Now, we have a charged ring or charged risk, disc. So, you can write magnetic, next topic, magnetic moment of a ring bar disc magnetic moment of a ring bar disc magnetic moment of a ring bar disc disc in the magnetic moment a ring in the magnetic moment so let me consider we have a disc or ring which will have some charges and this is rotating with respect to the central axis with a velocity of omega so here we have to find out this magnetic moment magnetic moment m is equal to i a so i means charge by time period into a so charge by what is the time period equation in terms of omega 2 pi by omega is called a time period which is called a so q omega a divided by 2 pi what is called omega omega is called angular velocity so, if the circles will have a radius of capital R or small r, if you are taking, we can substitute. So, Q omega pi r square divided by 2 pi. Pi is the pi r square is the area. So, pi and pi will get cancels. So, what we are getting for this one? It is Q into uh, pi pi get cancels. Q into omega 
r square divided by 2 so this is the magnetic moment of a uh, what can i say magnetic moment of a ring or disk okay so let me consider it's, it's a ring okay okay ring or disk that will be fine okay ring or disk let me put it like this ring or disk q omega square by r square. next i'm go i'm going to interested about magnetic m divided by angular momentum so m will be got q into omega r square divided by 2 will be there so l l it's not a particle this is a continuous body for a continuous body i omega i omega so what is the value of i so we can write it as q omega r square divided this two will come to denominator i in the value m r square into omega i is equal to m r square for a ring for a ring so r square cancel r square cancel omega cancel omega cancel so what is coming q divided by 2 m this is for what for a ring okay now so q divided by 2m will got it for a ring so q divided by 2m this is similar to what is called charge divided by mass e by 2m what we have learned previously next next is the same formula so uh, this is the one formula for a ring next one if the same case will be there m divided by l is equal to q omega r square divided by 2 i omega for disk in a moment of inertia the value m r square by 2 on m r square by 2 i'll tell you this while taking the chapter so r square r square omega omega 2 2 2 will get cancelled so, so m divided by l will be equal to q divided by m this is for what this is for disk this is for desk so q divided by 2m for a ring q divided by m for a desk okay moment of inertia along the central axis along the central axis and this is the value of this one so magnetic moment to the angular momentum m by l m by l for a ring m by l for a desk and a yeah, magnetic moment of a ring or disk the general formula m we find out m by l m by l for a ring for a disk m for a ring so previously we have seen for a revolving electron so it's a particle system that's what to find to get this angular momentum we are using mvr here we cannot use mvr here we have to use i omega i omega is for a body as i told before so i is a moment of inertia that will be depends upon the body for different body different moment of inertia i in the value i is equal to mr square for a ring i is equal to mr square by 2 for a disk based on that we have substituted the values will be here hope this is it's clear to you so magnetic moment angular momentum ratio to the magnetic moment to the angular momentum session the topic is over hope this is clear to you and you got some some ideas some information from me and the session is useful to you i, I hope so okay so thank you very much and thanks for listening to the video